Hello, thank you for coming to our presentation on teen services and participatory culture. The group members of this project were Kaylin, Drake, Janet, and Wayne. First, I'm going to define participatory culture. So it's basically being involved in activities that can be beneficial to a teenager. That's what we're going to focus on today. So first, it's learning from their peers as a very important aspect. Developing skills necessary for a current or future career. And contributing to the importance of community involvement. This is all what participatory culture is when it, when it pertains to teen services within the library. Active learning is very essential for teen development. Um, as per the Johnson... Ewing and Bueller article, having the ability to communicate, collaborate, and work together is extremely important and essential. Everyone's been in a classroom where a teacher is lecturing for the whole time of the class period, and you're really not learning much except for hearing how important their voice is to the teacher. That's not a, a, an active learning aspect. What is active learning is when a student teenager is actually participating in the act of learning, such as using computers, learning from projects, or hands-on um, tasks. First, we're going to look at some lit reviews that we looked through as a group. Um, and the first one we're going to talk about is the Library of the Future. So uh, designing the library of the future for and with teens, librarians as the connectors, connecting learning. So this uh, article um, provided ideas for ways in which librarians can engage teens in participating in, in the cultures in their library. The author will um, claim that the development of new technologies allows for increased le learning opportunities in public spaces such as libraries. The author explains three spheres of learning. The first one, interest-driven. The second one, peer-supported. And the third, academic-oriented. They go into more depth about what these um, types of uh, learning are within the article. They also go into five projects that uh, teens can try to engage in active learning. First one is called Bags of Stuff. Then there's Mission to Mars, Layered Elaboration, Big Paper, and Sticky Noting. These are just five different projects that they talk about in the article in ways where the uh, students can have a hands-on experience when they are learning an actual um, subject. The next book is going to talk about what's called the Cool Library. The, the, I'm sorry, the article is called This is Our Library and It's a Pretty Cool Place, a user-centered study of public library U YA spaces. So the article basically describes um, a, an earlier study that was performed in the public library space for teen services. Uh, it combined a survey of users with a short video documentary of spaces. So within this, they talked about um, three main services from the library that are sought out by teens. The first one is the information gateway. The second one is social entertainment space. And the third one is beneficial physical environment. So information gateway is basically talking about ways where the um, teen can find information within the library, whether it's the computer, books, articles. Social entertainment space, of course, is um, self-explanatory. It's a place where they can socialize with other teenagers. Um, they can find entertainment within the library space as well. And then the physical environment itself. So what's really important is how is the library laid out for the teens? What is their space looking like? What kind of uh, furniture are they using? What kind of tables do they have? How is the book set up within the space? The third article is um, about youth digital participation. It's called Analyzing Youth Digital Participation Aims, Actors, Contexts, and Intensities. 
So this article is claiming in the introduction that they're developing a new framework for analyzing youth participation. Um, it's more of a, a complex understanding of youth participation in public life. The method of providing this framework is to examine two instances of youth participation in modern life in the online community. One is called Nerd Fighters. And the other one is an after school program run by Air Cyber Patriot. The author provides tables which attempt to analyze the dimensions and the digital participation through these programs. The dimensions include individualist versus youth digital participation within these programs, and collective process focus, product focus, and formal versus informal. The article is very vague though and confusing, and the author doesn't really successfully realize their claims um, in the introduction. So the Nerd Fighters is a YouTube website and does not involve much interaction among the teens as games or other group projects within the library. Cyber Patriot also doesn't really encourage much interaction within the teens or collaboration. The writing is all over the place and the author doesn't really provide a coherent argument beyond those which it borrows from that it cites as its inspiration. We had to use a library to apply the teen services and the participation culture within that library. For our library, we focused on the Los Angeles Public Library. There are multiple teen services that can be found at the Los Angeles Public Library, and especially there are some that uh, look at participation culture in particular. One section is called the Teens Leading Change, TLC. So the TLC focuses on ways where the teens can uh, work within the community and find ways to work together with other people within the community to help them um, better themselves. One example that it does is it gives the teens a voice. There were eight projects within 11 different branches. One project the TLC put together was called Tech for Seniors. And with the Tech for Seniors, the teenager community would go to the senior community in the um, Los Angeles area, and they would get together with the seniors within that facility, um, and they would put together a um, get together with each of these uh, seniors to talk about how to use a iPad to either access books, reading material of any kind, apps, or um, things like Zoom, which was really helpful, especially during COVID times, so that they could communicate with their family because they weren't able to leave or the family wasn't able to visit them um, during COVID at all. So the TLC put this project together, which was very beneficial for um, uh, team participatory culture and also helpful for um, helping the senior community as a whole. Another one that teens use for participation culture was the Teen Virtual Art Circle. So how this worked was um, the teenagers got together weekly through a Zoom meeting, and they found ways to um, share their art projects with other teenagers, and they would get ideas and inspirations from seeing other art projects that were done by these other teenagers. And it's a way for them to socialize with other teens. There's other ways to get um, creative juices going, learning ways to show their creative artwork in the world. And directly from the um, Los Angeles Public Library website, a quote was found saying, take some time for your creative pursuits with fellow art makers in this virtual studio hour. Bring whatever creative project you're working on, or if you need an art prompt, we will provide one. So it just shows that they really want to bridge that gap between being stuck at home and the open world outside, especially during COVID times. It's a way for them to socialize and be creative at the same time. So in conclusion for the project, we want to um, focus on the fact that participate culture is integral in creating an involved and engaged community. 
The Los Angeles Public Library did this. They provided by programming that created a, rel a relatively easy way for teens to participate in the things that they're interested in with little to no accessibility barriers to them, which is the goal of participatory culture. And last, the measurement of success. There's a quote that was made by Jim Lovell saying, there are people who make things happen, there are people who watch things happen, and there are people who wonder what happened. To be successful, you need to be a person who makes things happen. And that is just what the Los Angeles Library did. They made things happen in order to make sure that these teenagers are finding ways to incorporate participated culture, not with only within their own community, but with the communities outside of them. Thank you.